to the hills from which cometh your help. Your help. I dare you to get your hands up and say it comes from the Lord. Yes, the only reason why the enemy had took you out is because of your praise. You know what's so interesting about all of this, y'all, is, uh, is that we've all experienced some type of opposition. We've all been lied on. We've all been criticized. We've all been set up. We've been brought down, intimidated, humiliated, terrorized, stigmatized, characterized, blackmailed, and blackballed folk have plotted against you, misunderstood you to the point where they framed you, but God held you in place. I'm going to say it one more time. God held you in place. Yes, he did. Even when the enemy came in like a flood, the Lord did lift up a standard. And God told them, touch not mine anointed. Do my prophet no harm. But I stopped by, I stopped by Agape to tell y'all. I really believe the only reason why we haven't walked away is because of commitment. It's because of the vow that you made to God. It's because of the responsibility that you pressed upon that assignment. And after all, after all, all, all of these years, I see David, the biblical songwriter. He said, if it, if it, if it, if it, if it, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, I don't know where, where I would be. And then he didn't stop there, but he said, good God Almighty, I would have fainted lest I believe. What are you saying, Sister Dorinda? I'm simply saying I could have gave up a, a long time ago. But when I start thinking of the goodness of Jesus, I could not let the devil take me out. When I began to think about where God brought me from, when I thought about those that I went to school with, and I found out they were all dying, but I'm still here. Look at your neighbor and say, that's enough right there to give God praise. That you're still in the land of the living, and that you can give God a praise at any given time. Oh, good God Almighty, I found out the call that God has put on your life. It's a price that you pay. You got to pay the price for the anointing. People don't understand why you've been picked out to be picked on. It's because God favors you and he favors you in front of your enemies. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And that's why the Bible says, sit on the right hand side and I'll make you play your haters. Your foot stew. When a man's ways please the Lord, he make it his play your haters. Be at peace. Set fret not yourself because of player haters they will soon be cut down and withered away like the grass I don't hear nobody I, I'm so glad I understand that God has favored me what are you talking about I'm talking about F-O-G y'all know what that stands for the favor of God that simply means it means the fog the fog of God all over your life that everywhere you walk the fog follows you everywhere you turn 
the fog follows you. Yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, the fog is with me. Thy rod, thy staff, it comforts me. He prepares a table before me in the presence of my player haters. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say your friends ain't gonna understand why you so blessed because you're in a season of blessings. You're in a season where the fog of God is going with you and you you can't help it if I got the favor of God on my life. What is favor? Favor is walking out on nothing, believing God going to bring something. I don't hear nobody. What is favor? Is when they pull you from the back and bring you to the front. What is favor? Is when you're in the store and for everybody else, it's a different price. But by the time you get to the cashier, they put a discount on it. I wish I can get some ladies up in here that'll open up your mouth and say, I can't help it if I'm favorite. I can't help it if God loves me enough to take care of me. For once was wrong, but now I'm old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for wonder bread. Tell your neighbor you ain't never had to beg for wonder bread. Cause even if it got down to the two butt parts of the bed that was left in the bag, you will pull it out, slap some peanut butter and jelly, and it become a wonderful sandwich. Look at your neighbor and say, my God, he will supply all my needs. When I get hungry, he'll be my supply. When I get thirsty, he'll give me a drink of water. When I don't have a dime, he steps in on time. When it looks like everything is running away from me, God, he's with me. Can I get a witness? Shout it, yeah. I'm too far in to quit this thing. I don't know about y'all, but I paid for the seat I'm in. I said I paid for the seat I'm in. Why don't you look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say I paid for the seat I'm in. When I had to cry in the wee hours of the morning, I paid for the seat I'm in. When I didn't know which way to turn, God stepped in. I paid for the seat I'm in. He said, with joy, ye draw waters out of the wells of salvation. So every time I come in church, I think about what I had to go through to get to where I am. I'm too far in this thing to call it quits. I'm too far in to pack up my bags and say, see y'all, I'm too far in because I got my grandchildren coming right behind me. I'm too far in. I got auntie and uncle seeing my works. I'm too far in. Tell your neighbor, you can't give up now. You got to hang in there. In the 25 years, you were right there. When God spoke a word in your life, he said to you, come unto me, all ye that labor and a heavy laden. I want you to tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, where were you when God said, come? Where were your mind when God said, come? 
what was you thinking when God said come that was the time in your life it was life or death either you wanted him or you wanted the devil but I chose good God Almighty many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord he will deliver us out of all of them tell your neighbor you gotta hang in there I know you may cry every now and then but God's got you why don't you just take somebody by the hand and tell them God's got you don't worry about what you're dealing with now it's soon it will pass don't worry about that son just keep rejoicing it will pass don't worry about your daughter prostituting keep on shouting it will it will pass i don't know about y'all i've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread i stop by to tell you you gotta hang on don't let nobody stop you look to the hills and know that he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think pink or swearish or survive I'ma run on and see what the end's gonna be Twinkie wrote a song a long time ago said my mind is made up I'm on my way up I'm going on to see the Lord and then she didn't stop there but she simply said I get a little weary while I'm doing well and I need God to help me but every now and then I ask myself is my living is it in vain ask your neighbor say neighbor is your living in vain is your coming to church in vain is your fasting in vain is your praying in vain why don't you answer them back and say no 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 of course not it's not all in vain because up the road is eternal gain i don't know about y'all but one of these old days it's gonna all be over no more bible class no more convocation no more conventions no more gatherings but i want to hear him say well done well done well well done that good and faithful servant you've been faithful over a few things i'm gonna make you ruler over many i got to get out of here but look at your neighbor and tell them all the many years that you spent in ministry you could have broke under pressure you could have lost your life in the middle of a struggle you could have been incarcerated you could have suffered a heart attack you could have had a stroke but look at your neighbor and say i'm still here yes i am it's by the grace of god that the lord gave me another opportunity that's why i will bless the lord at all times his prayers his praises i said his praises shall continually be in my mouth open up your mouth begin to give God praise come on y'all give the Lord a praise thank you Jesus after all of these years I'm still alive after all of these years I've been in the operating table but God's been good to me can I get a witness has the Lord been good to you a roof over your 
head, money in your pocket, bread on your table, a rock in the weary land, a shout in the time of storm, a company keeper, a pain killer, a friend giver, a mother when your mother gone, a father when your father's gone.